Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. I am so excited to share today's video with you. And I wanna thank The Good and the Beautiful for partnering with me on today's video. If you haven't heard, Math 7, the brand new Math 7, which is the latest release from The Good and the Beautiful for their Simply Good and Beautiful Math, is finally done, it is here, it is in my hands, and so I wanted to briefly share a quick overview of this course, what I notice about it, what I like about it, what we're gonna do in our homeschool, and all of that good stuff. But it is available for purchase now, and if you know anything about the good and the beautiful, sometimes things unexpectedly sell quickly. And so if you're gonna need this level, in the near future, go ahead and grab it now. I will link to it down below for you guys. So, Math 7 is the newest release from The Good and the Beautiful in their Simply Good and Beautiful Math. They have been working through the past years to continue on with math moving into those higher grade levels. Well, as you can expect, higher grade level math takes a lot longer to create. There's a lot more experts and um, math personnel involved in doing it. And so Math 7 has been in the works for a long time, but it is finally done. Math 7 is obviously going to follow Math 6. Now, if you know anything about the good and the beautiful, that doesn't necessarily correlate with the grade level. Although in my case, I have found my daughter to be moving into their levels at the same grade level. But what you should do if you're not sure is take their online assessments and see where your child will uh, excel the best. So Math 7 will obviously follow Math 6. So Math 7 is brand new and what I wanted to point out to you first are a few differences. Now you might notice that this book is a little smaller than usual. Well that is because Math 7 is broken into four units. So this is unit one, that's gonna have your lessons one through 30. Then we have unit two, which is its own little book, that's gonna have lessons 31 through 60. Then we have unit three, that's gonna take you lessons 61 through 90. And then we do have unit four, which is going to take you 91 through 120, which is the completion of level seven from The Good and the Beautiful. So The Good and the Beautiful's Math 7 is formatted on 120 lessons. I personally think that these units are a great idea because when you hand a child a very large course book, not only is it somewhat overwhelming for them, but it's also quite difficult to navigate through, like the book doesn't open well, as you can see, these lay almost perfectly flat, and so I just think it's a lot nicer and, and easier for the kids to work through and you as well for grading, you know, when they pass it back to you, however you wanna do that, you only have a few pages to flip through versus an entire course book. But most importantly, I think it's less overwhelming for the child and every unit they finish um, gives them a sense of completion. Another idea that I had that seems like a no brainer is that since there's four units in this, most people break up their homeschool years into four quarters. So a good way to keep tabs on that is that your child should be finishing one one unit per quarter. So one unit about every nine weeks and that seems very, very doable. So I love that. I think this is great. The next thing that is different in Math 7 in comparison to Math 6, which my youngest daughter is using this year, um, is that the answers and solution guide have the problems worked out. So not only does it give you the answer to the math problem, but it actually shows them how to correctly solve it. And that is so needed, especially for the higher level math, because sometimes you can see the answer, but you have no idea how they're getting there. And so having the problems worked out for grading and correcting is an answer to prayer, and it is so, so, so critical for those higher level maths. So I'm so glad that this has it. It also um, is very easy to navigate and find the answers in the answer guide. All 
of the unit's answers are in one answer guide. So there's not four of these, there's only one of these. So that is amazing. Now some things that are the same, if you're familiar with Simply Good and the Beautiful Math, is that there is an optional video lesson that your child can watch. If you don't want your child watching the optional video lesson, there is a lesson overview in the math book that your child can read or you can read to your child. So you have both options. I personally love the video component of Simply Good and the Beautiful Math and my daughter does as well and it works really wonderfully but if you do not want that in your child's life then you can utilize this course without using any video option. Now the lessons are formatted pretty much the same as Math 6 which is they have a brain warm-up section after their video or lesson overview then they have their lesson practice which is going to be on whatever concept they are learning on that particular lesson and then there is a review section so the layout and the structure is basically the same as math six and i love that that remains the same because that creates a cohesive flow from one math level to the next another thing that is the same that is awesome is that the pages are colorful they're engaging they're easy to read they're easy to navigate they're not overwhelming it's not just a blank page of black and white math problems it's very, very well done. It's not over the top and distracting, but it's also inviting and engaging. And I think that's really important because a lot of math curriculums, other curriculums, lose that component, especially as the math level goes up. But the good and the beautiful does not do that. They see the importance of that. And I think that it is beautifully done and very easy, easily laid out and easy for the child to follow. The math course is designed for your child by the time they are in math seven to pretty much be independent on their math course. However, you obviously do need to be there to offer help and assistance as well as check their answers and go over the problems if needed. But as far as the actual lesson goes and the navigation, it is open and go. There is nothing you need to prepare as the homeschooling mom or parent. It is all laid out for you. They can watch the video or read the lesson and begin. And so that is so, so, so nice. They also have an optional math scratch pad that comes with the gridded um, paper, which I find to be very helpful for place value, lining up numbers and all of that stuff. So if you are considering getting Math 7, I would recommend adding this along with so it. Math 7 is obviously going to follow Math 6 in our homeschool. My youngest daughter is in Math 6. Math 6 from The Good and the Beautiful was broken up into two books, so basically split in half. And my daughter is on the second book. So she'll finish that second book um, this school year, and then next year for her seventh grade year, I will have her begin Math 7 from The Good and the Beautiful. She is excelling in math, and uh, this year in Math 6, learning pre-algebra and beginning to lay that foundation, and Math 7 is just going to seamlessly build off of that. So this course will be used by us next school year, but I wanted to share it with you now, my first impressions, what I like about it, what I've noticed is different, and most importantly, just let you know that it is available. If you know you're gonna need it next school year, you should go ahead and grab it now just to avoid any delays or um, out of stock or just anything like that. So I'll link it down below for you guys, but I wanted to share that with you. So this will be used by us in our homeschool next year. Um, for my youngest daughter, and I'm really, really excited about it. It looks so, so beautiful. It was worth the wait. And so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this quick little video was informative. If you're someone who has been wondering about Math 7 or hoping and praying that it was going to be done in time for your child to use it, here we go. Math 7 is ready, and the link is down below for you. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.